Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are doing good today. So the Balenciaga saga is getting worse and worse. If you guys don't know, they're currently trending number one, and then they dropped down to number two on Twitter. They have been trending all morning. Um, a lot of people are really upset because more information is coming out about Balenciaga and the so-called chief of designer for Balenciaga. Her name is Loda Valkova. And she's a really interesting, disturbing person, okay? Um, people went through her Instagram page, and they found all types of satanic imagery. There was a really disturbing picture. It's like almost like a lifelike cartoon picture, and it's of a young boy, and all his entrails are like literally on the grass. He was a child victim of murder. And she posted this on Instagram, and it's still up. And it's very interesting because... We can post the most mild things and we get a warning from Instagram. We get things taken down. Um, she's also posted flat out like satanic pictures with pentagrams. So this is who the chief designer of Balenciaga is. So right now they're currently trending because of the new pictures that are coming out of this woman. I also want to go ahead and play you guys this video of this young man on TikTok breaking down even more things that were in those Balenciaga ads. So y'all go ahead and check him out. There is a lot happening with Balenciaga right now, and it literally just keeps getting worse. So if you're unaware, Balenciaga, the big brand, released an ad featuring children holding teddy bears that were dressed in bondage. Now, for good reason, this sparked outrage because it's completely inappropriate. But what this did was it opened up the Pandora's box of how completely grotesque this company is. When you dig deep into their other product advertisements, there are subtle hints of pedophilia and child exploitation in almost all of them. If you think this is just a picture of a Balenciaga bag, you're wrong because down here, there's a reference to a court case that was ruled in favor of virtual child you know what. Oh, but that just might be a coincidence. Now, while you may want to believe that's true, do you know how many eyes are on product placement for a brand like Balenciaga? Not to mention, there's more. This picture here might just be somebody sitting at their desk in New York City, right? Wrong. What are these books here? Who is Michael Borman and why is his book featured in a Balenciaga ad? It must be a good book. Wrong. It's a book that depicts child exploitation. There are horrific depictions of nude children in this book that Google can't even show them. Now I know this is a lot to take in, but we're still not done. This photo here, he's got a nice outfit on, good looking model. But who is this here? John Philip Fisher. Hmm. Couldn't be the same man that was accused of molesting his granddaughter at four years old. Now I know I'm gonna get called a conspiracy theorist for this because we already are. Multiple news outlets are saying that this Balenciaga issue is a wild conspiracy theory. But if it was a conspiracy theory, why would Balenciaga apologize for it? They literally issued a statement apologizing for their photo shoots. So clearly this is not a conspiracy theory since Balenciaga admitted fault. But you see, an apology, it isn't enough. We know how many eyes are on product placement. We need to know why this was allowed. And don't confuse this for cancel culture. This is children that we're talking about. All right, so you guys just saw what he had to say. So now, if that's not crazy enough, after six days, Kim Kardashian finally decided to basically talk about the Balenciaga situation because, as we all know, she is Team Balenciaga. She was introduced to Balenciaga via her husband, Kanye, or her ex-husband. So this is what Kim Kardashian says. She says, I have been quiet for the past few days, not because I haven't been disgusted and outraged by the recent Balenciaga campaign, but because I wanted an opportunity to speak to their team to understand for myself how this could have happened. Then she says, as a mother of four, I have been shaken by the disturbing images. The safety of our children must be held with the highest regard and any attempt to normalize child abuse of any kind should have no place in our society, period. 
Then she says, I appreciate Balenciaga's removal of the campaign and their apology. In speaking with them, I believe they understand the seriousness of the issue and will take the necessary measures for this to never happen again. So this is what I wrote in response to that on Instagram. I said, translation, Demna is her man and she's sticking beside him. So basically, fuck them kids. Okay, Kim don't give a damn about your kids. I know y'all didn't think Kim was going to care about them kids. Now, when her daughter be out here dripped down from head to toe in Balenciaga, let me go ahead and show y'all this. This person says people really expected Kim Kardashian to condemn Balenciaga when she let them put her nine-year-old Northwest in a gimp mask for Fashion Week last month. I don't know what a gimp mask is, but that is not normal fashion for a nine-year-old child. People tend to think that Northwest is so much older that she's 13. Northwest is a nine-year-old child, meaning she's about in third grade. But she acts so much older than her age, and it's really sad. You know, she doesn't act like just like a regular little nine-year-old kid, and part of that is Kim Kardashian's fault. So now this other tweet says, wait, shouldn't Balenciaga have their bank accounts closed, get banned on social media, stores temporarily shut down, and all the celebrities condemn them first? Or is that only for black artists and athletes? So that had over 35,000 likes. And me and Emily said the same thing on the podcast that was very interesting because we did this podcast last week, how quiet it was. I think at the time, only me and Emily were talking about this situation as far as on a podcast, you know, it was viral on Twitter, but it's like everybody was so quiet and hush hush about it and it was really disturbing. So now somebody else says Kim Kardashian divorced Kanye over a MAGA hat, but she's trying to work it out with the pedophiles at Balenciaga. This person says if Balenciaga did something that offended the LGBT community, every celebrity would have to cut ties instantly. They promoted child porn and nearly every celebrity is silent. Really makes you think, huh? And that person is Blair White. Uh, she's a transgender and she's keeping it real. You know, if they would have offended the LGBT community, you wouldn't have heard the last of this. So I do find that very, very disturbing how many people are making excuses for Kim Kardashian and all these celebrities being quiet. Even Nicole Kidman, you know, with all the outrage, she posted her latest Balenciaga outfit. Ma'am, are you that socially unaware that you had to, you know what I'm saying, just uh, lay up in Balenciaga? Like, we don't want to see your campaign. We're dragging them right now, Nicole Kidman. So unless you want to get dragged, I suggest you cease and desist, okay, ma'am? So now, on top of all that, Kanye West is also speaking out about the situation. Um, you know, he's upset. He's saying that these celebrities are controlled and he had a lot of things to say. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this Kanye West interview. Go ahead and check this out. We get debanked. This is, and you think if that can happen to someone like me, what's happening to all of America? What's happening to all the world? If you have an opinion, even if you speak up, there's so many people that they just, they work in a regular job and they know if they say anything to their manager, then they'll, they'll lose their position, they'll lose their job. Right. You know, they, they tried to destroy me in press. They tried to destroy all of my businesses at the same time. And the world saw it and no one's saying anything. You know, as far as like none of the celebrities, so this just shows you all celebrities are controlled. You don't see no celebrities talking about the Balenciaga situation, right? So that just shows you all of these celebrities out here. Don't let them influence you in any way because they're controlled by the people who really influence the world. There's no such thing as a celebrity influence. All right. So you guys just heard what Ye had to say about the situation. Now, I find this very interesting. I have to keep it real. Now, Ye has been dropping a lot of knowledge as of late. Ye has been keeping it real. But I also have to question this, too, because remember, I did a video, I believe, a few months ago about Balenciaga when they had them dirty ass shoes and they were coming out with them trash bag bags and they wanted like two thousand dollars for a bag that was literally a trash bag. And, you know, I spoke about Demna's relationship with Kanye and things like that. Now, what I find very interesting is that he's speaking, 
you know, he's calling out a lot of stuff, but I also feel like Kanye's only calling these people out because he's been canceled, okay? And he's upset. He wanted to be in those same spaces with them. You know, that was his brother. He was bigging him up. Let's not forget the Dream Champs interview was just a month ago. Let me refresh your memory on what he was saying about Demna and Balenciaga not even a month ago. Check this out. Mm, terrible. Ray Kurzweil said... A utopia is possible where we're led by the least noble and the greediest people. Mm. I brought the head designer of Balenciaga, the greatest designer on our planet today, to Demna. Yeah. Demna is the yay wow. of, of clothing. Demna is the Drake mm. of clothing. Mm. Drake, Drake is the greatest rapper ever. And you said, and, and I, don't, I, don't, I don't apologize about it. All right, see, I just saw that. He called Demna basically the, the Kanye of the fashion world. You know, he gave him his praises. So, of course, it's easy for him to speak out now because they've cut him off. Remember, they, they, they booted him on October 16th. They cut ties with him, don't speak to him, disemboweled him. So, of course, it's easy for him to speak out now because he's not in the same spaces with these people. And, you know, that doesn't negate what he's saying, but it's a lot easier to be a whistleblower, quote unquote, when you've been canceled. Just like Andrew Tate. He's also talking about Balenciaga and Satanism and all this stuff. But again, he's another one that's been canceled. I wonder if he wasn't canceled and he was still in the good graces of, you know, social media, or whatever. Would he have the same stance or would it be business as usual? I'm just saying, you know, it doesn't negate that he's speaking the truth. But I also find it interesting that all of this truth is coming out now that you've been canceled by them, especially being that him and Demna were thick as thieves. Now, another thing that's interesting is that, is that rapper T.I. decided to speak about the situation as well. And he says that he feels like, you know, Kanye, he gets where Kanye's coming from. But he was like, well, when I led the Gucci boycott, you know, Kanye was quiet. Nobody really ran to really support us when we were saying boycotting Gucci. So, you know, child, you know, T.I. is long-winded, honey. You know, when T.I. got something to say, he got something to say. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Uh, my brother, Ye, he was um, making comments on the Balenciaga ad, which I'm still re I'm still researching. I'm still researching, man, but <laughs> still researching, but seemingly promoted child some 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 uh, pedophilia or some shit. I, don't, I really don't know a lot about it, but I just seen them. You know what I'm saying? Kind of being very critical of other celebrities that didn't choose to quote unquote cancel them. Well for one I wanna say this. I, I man I I got a lot of love and respect for Ye. I disagree with 90% of the shit that he says and does, but sometimes the man be on be having some shit to say. Sometimes, you know what I mean? And you think he's a brilliant mind, you know? Uh but I also believe that a brilliant mind you know, if not properly, uh, 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 if not properly applied, can be dangerous. You know, I'm, I'm switching topics. You notice? So, escape was in the house. I was talking about the legacy of escape in the house. When I came outside, I switched the topics. For those of you who catch that, keep up. Keep up. Um, but I got a lot of love and respect. And what I ain't gonna do, I ain't gonna sit up here and gang up on them and criticize them publicly and do all of that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I, I found a better way for myself. But what I will say is, um, it's gonna be hard for me to counsel them because I don't wear that shit in the first place. And I just recall a time, right? I recall, I recall, I recall a time when. I had said um, myself, Tamika Mallory, uh, Killer Mike, you know, we we said because of the um, the 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 kerfuffle at Gu at Gucci and uh, a host of other brands, but 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 specifically Gucci. And we said, man, you know what? We, we should stop. We should stop spending our money there for a period of time. We should stop spending our money for a period of time. 
And there was so much like, why are we doing that? What are you talking about? We just can't get on the same accord, bro. We got to stick together on something. We got to stick together on something. But when I was, you know, when I was pushing my agenda, I didn't see Ye stand up and say, yeah, I, I'm with it. I didn't, you know what I mean? Um, my point is not to be critical of Ye or anyone else. It's to say that, man, as a people, for one, $1.3 trillion in spending power. That's enough for us to build, to, to, to grow, to, to, to have any business, any industry that we want on lock if we just come together and put our efforts, energy, and attention on, on, on a commonality, man, a common goal. If we could do that, bro, that's the only thing holding us back. All the problems that plague our community. All the problems that plague our community will be solved and corrected just by us coming together. Just, that's it. That's it. That's the key. All right. So you guys just heard what T.I. had to say on the matter. So like I said, this situation is going to be very interesting. But right now, there's a lot of really good conversation going on on Twitter. You know, people are really disgusted by this. And um, they're really holding Balenciaga's feet to the fire. Like they've literally been trending all weekend. They're trending again. Um, this person, Billy Carlson II, says Balenciaga promotes pedophilia in its ads. There are so many pedophile ads that they deleted 100% of their post. Jewish billionaires and the Penn Alt family own the majority shares of Balenciaga. Where is the public outcry? So a lot of people are saying, you know, hey, if there was all this outcry for Kyrie and Kanye and Kyrie had to apologize umpteen times, why is this same community who's very much tied to Balenciaga, why are they not calling out Balenciaga? Why is everybody quiet? You know, why is it when it comes to children, children are not as important as a particular group of people? So the conversation on Twitter is very interesting, child. I'm just over there sipping my tea. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I leave the question with you guys what do you guys think about this entire situation concerning balenciaga um concerning kanye west blasting them and blasting celebrities for being quiet about balenciaga also how do you guys feel about kim's statement and what she had to say and what do you guys feel about what ti had to say as well so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping make sure you guys leave a comment down below hit that subscribe button make sure you still subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the like button i'll talk to y'all later Deuces. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.